Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services. This is a video on daily news and editorial analysis, which I'll be covering from the Hindu and Indian Express. So the most important news and editorial of the day will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with news topic list. Today is 26th of February. The first topic is Prime Minister pitches for self-reliance in defense sector. As we know that the government of India has also come up with the increased budget allocations for the defense sector. Second, United Nations announced additional sanctions on Russia amid the crisis which is ongoing and Russia's action in the Ukraine. Third, war has put India's coffee export to Ukraine in geopardy. We'll understand the consequences to the coffee sector. Or yesterday, we have also discussed about the tea sectors, right? So, how will repercussions in India? We'll see the detail of that as well. Second last, Ukraine has sought history of its creations. And again, the last editorial, world must do to put more pressures on Russia. So this is an editorial from Indian Express. We'll see the detail about this editorial as well. Apart from this, at the end of this video, there will be MCQ based questions. These questions will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming prelims examination. So without any further delay, let's get started. And before that, if you're new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do not forget to press a like button. And we have a latest version of app 2.0, which you can download to get more details and study material on your mobile applications. Do check it out. So the first news of the day, that is Prime Minister pitches for self-reliance in defense sector. This particular news is important for general studies paper 2 in mains that the government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from it design and implementations. So what Prime Minister has said, Prime Minister was recently addressing a webinar and the title of this webinar was in the defense sector, Atmanbhar Bharat in Defense, a call to action. Right. So what Prime Minister has highlighted the need and the intention of the government, the roadmap of the government, we'll discuss that also. The Prime Minister has categorically said that we need to develop a vibrant ecosystem. Kis tarak ecosystem honi ki zarurat hai? Ki vibrant ecosystem ho, jahan pe research, design aur development jo hai, defense manufacturing mein, usko promote ki jai. And even for the budget, the budget for this particular year, the current year has also come up with the blueprint in terms of manufacturing in the defense sectors. Almost 70% of the capital procurement in the defense has been earmarked from the domestic industry. This is what the target has been set. And definitely the government is looking forward to increase these numbers also. Now, customizations and uniqueness baat ki gai hai defense sector mein ki kya uniqueness honi chahiye kis tarah se customizations karne ki zorat hai humare defense sectors ko. So the prime minister has stressed the importance of customizations and uniqueness of the defense sector. Jaha pe ek surprise elements hamisa hoti hai and adversity is also there in this sector. Right? So this is a challenging field where it calls for a lot more innovation, state of art technology that has to be employed in terms of the productions. The union budget 2023 has increased the defense budget to 5.25 lakh crore rupees, which was 4.78 lakh crore rupees. Thi. So the number has increased. This is something again important for your mains examination. So you numbers numbers because budget agriculture ये कुछ ऐसे important sectors हैं जिनके total budget allocations आपको पता होने चाहिए, right? So this is again something given the budget allocation that has increased 5.25 lakh crore rupees would give push to a procurement of the weapons, military platform और domestic manufacturing को promote करेगी. Although government of India has always been advocating for the manufacturing of the defense equipment in India as well. अभी हमारी जो larger import होती है defense की या फिर कहीं बात करें जो military equipment की mostly coming from Russia and Israel. So these are the two country, the partner country from which India is exporting the defense manufacturing part. Now India is looking forward to increase its own manufacturing. In light of that, the webinar was held. Now budget may boost ki gai hai as I've told you the numbers was already there. So the Ministry of Defense has announced the implementations of various measures jaha pe budget ye aim karegi to boost the private player coming into the actions and even the startup would also be promoted. So either the startup or the public private partnership that is something going to be very significant to enhance the level of manufacturing in the defense sector in our country which would be more indigenous in nature. So the Prime Minister has stressed upon our transparent, time-bound, pragmatic 
एज वेल एज फेयर ट्रायल ऑफ सिस्टम जहाँ पे टेस्टिंग सर्टिफिकेशन ये सारी चीजें जरूरत होगी फॉर अ वाइब्रेंट डिफेंस इंडस्ट्री सो इफ यू राइटिंग एन एग्जामिनेशन यू नीड टू हाईलाइट दैट वॉट आर द की कंपोनेंट इफ द वाइब्रेंट डिफेंस इंडस्ट्री हैज टू बी प्रमोटेड इन कंट्री तो वहाँ पे सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट्स होगी ट्रांसपेरेंसी टाइम बाउंड मैनर टेस्टिंग सर्टिफिकेशन और फेयर ट्रायल ऑफ द सिस्टम द फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री एज एव टोल्ड यू बजट एलोकेशन की गई है फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव लाख करोड़ रुपीज के आसपास इंक्रीज हुई नंबर्स है जो कि पहले से काफी ज्यादा है एंड इवन द एनुअल बजट इन द डिफेंस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट हैज ओपन द न्यू एवेन्यूज एंड द एकेडमी विल कम इन टू द एक्शन विद ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट इन द डिफेंस सेक्टर बजट हैज बिन इमार्क फॉर द रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड स्टेट ऑफ आर्ट टेक्नोलॉजी सो दिस नंबर अगेन हियर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन Now moving ahead with the other news that is US announces additional sanctions on Russia this particular news is important for general studies paper 2 in mains that is effect of policies and politics of developed and developing nations so US president uh, Mr Biden he has recently announced that fresh sanction is going to be there in Russia where the entities and individual of Russia has नो द रशिया है जस्ट रिसेंटली इन्वेटेड यूक्रेन उसको लेकर के यू ने अपनी स्ट्रॉन्ग कंडेम्स की है और बहुत सारे सैंक्शंस लगाने की भी बात कही है बट दिस सैंक्शन फ्रॉम एक्सपर्ट ओपिनियन इज नॉट समथिंग व्हिच इज इंपैक्टिंग रशिया टू अ लार्जर एक्सटेंट नो द सैंक्शन वर वेल डेजिनेटेड टू मैक्सिमाइज द लॉन्ग टर्म इम्पैक्ट ऑन रशिया वेल मिनिमाइजिंग द इम्पैक्ट ऑन यू एंड इट्स अलाइज दैट इज नॉट ओ कंट्रीज पे भी फोकस रखी गई है इवन द यूनाइटेड नेशन एंड इट्स अलाइज प्लेस रेस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन द ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ 13 मेजर स्टेट ऑन एंटरप्राइजेस इन रशिया फ्रांस की तरफ से भी वहाँ की जो गैस पाइपलाइन है उसको भी ब्लॉक की गई है सो एवरी मेजर कंट्रीज आर ट्राइंग टू पुट द एफर्ट्स दैट दे शुड हैव अ सैंक्शंस ऑन रशिया टू इंश्योर कि ये जो यूक्रेन में एक्शंस हैं उसको ईज डाउन किया जाए डी एक्सक्लेशन की प्रोसेस को स्टार्ट किया जाए ना द सैंक्शन हैज ऑल्सो एक्सटेंडेड सेवरल रशिया इलीट्स इन द फैमिलीज and the members were 24 belarusian individual also so the economy the people who are actually the game changer of the economy the part of the politics and government would also be taken into action and the repercussion action of the sanction would also be there in the individual level now sectors that would be largely affected due to this so the latest sanctions hain by the united states would also apply to russia import to the sensitive technology jaise ki defense ki baat ki jaye एविएशन है या फिर जो मैरिटाइम सेक्टर्स है दीज आर द्री इम्पॉर्टेंट सिग्निफिकेंट सेक्टर अपॉन विच यू एस इज लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड फॉर अ हार्ड कोर सैंक्शन द यू एस वॉज इम्पोजिंग सैंक्शन अलोन ये सिर्फ ऐसा नहीं है कि यू एस ने अकेले सैंक्शन अपोज किए हैं ई यू के जो ट्वेंटी सेवन कंट्रीज हैं यूरोपियन यूनियन के उसमें कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट कंट्रीज लाइक यू के कैनाडा ऑस्ट्रेलिया न्यूजीलैंड जापान एंड मेनी अदर कंट्रीज हैव ऑल्सो इंश्योर्ड दैट दे वुड बी ऑल्सो इम्पोजिंग सम सैंक्शन ऑन रशिया so what is the us military stand what would be the united states stand on the action that is taking place in ukraine the us ke jo president hai unhone reiterate kiya hai that us forces would not find the russian forces jo wahan mein ukraine mein jo russia ki forces hai usse us ke forces fight nahi karenge basically jo bhi deployment ki gayi hai russian forces ki usse us ke forces fight nahi karenge but they have ensured ki jo nato ki defense karne ki baat hai europe mein जो ईस्टर्न फ्रैंक है ऑलमोस्ट रीजन ईस्टर्न यूरोप की जिसमें यूक्रेन भी एक पार्ट है उसको वो प्रोटेक्ट जरूर करेंगे दिस इज व्हाट यूएस एस सेट बट ऑफिशियली यूएस फोर्सेस इज नॉट गोइंग इन यूक्रेन एंड दे वुड फाइट विद रशियन फोर्सेस दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू हैपन राइट एंड द यूएस प्रेसिडेंट सेट दैट द रशिया प्रेसिडेंट वॉन्टेड and try to re-establish the USSR. This is what he has categorically said the intention behind the Putin actions on Ukraine. Now moving to the other news of the day that is war had put india coffee's export to ukraine in jeopardy this particular news is important for general studies paper 2 bilateral regional grouping and agreement evolving india's and affecting india's interest kal maine aapke sath discuss kiya tha news jahan pe humne ek tea sector pe focus kiya tha now we'll see how the coffee sector is going to be impacted now according to the coffee board jo current crisis chal rahi hai russia aur ukraine ke beech mein jo tensions hain usme india ki jo coffee export hai to ukraine and its neighbor country would be definitely in jeopardy and this sector is going to have a repercussion in terms of the overall export that india had to ukraine and russian countries 
So again, the livelihood options, the people associated with this would also be impacted. For this particular fiscal, that is from April to Jan, India has, ex India has exported around 6,604 metric ton of coffee and green beans. Instant roast ground coffee ki baat kare. To Ukraine, it was around 23,519 metric ton to Russia. So ye numbers here for Ukraine and this number is for Russia. So you can see a huge amount is being exported from India to Ukraine and Russia. But amid this crisis, we have to see how things would work. So coffee export to Ukraine, in fact, has peaked 7,327 metric tons in the fiscal year of 2018-19. And it has for the 1920, it was just 6,947, right? So you can see how things is working, but the government need to ensure ki SA sectors se log associated hai, they should not be impacted. And definitely the export process should continue, but let's see how this is going to happen. Coffee import from India. Russia currently account karti hai 75% of coffee, while Ukraine alone get 20% of share according to the data that was shared by the coffee board. So this is again, important data now russia ukraine war will certainly impact the indian coffee export jo neighborhood countries hai wahan pe bhi aur russia ukraine ki war jo hai it's likely to push the price of fuel as a metals aluminiums ke jo ki instant coffee mein export material ke can ke taur pe use hoti hai so the packaging material which is being used in the instant coffee to uske price surge hone ki bhi baat kahi gayi hai now leading Coffee, if we talk about how export or import in India, ke. so you can see the percentage. Basically, the India leading coffee import to this particular country, 21.6% is Italy, Germany 9%, Russia 6.30, and Belgium is 5.24. Now, India's coffee market, some key data regard to that. The most production is in Karnataka, mein hoti hai, followed by Kerala, then Tamil Nadu. You can see the region here. This is a Karnataka region where most of the coffee production take place followed by Kerala and Tamil Nadu. These details are there from the coffee board of India. Now Ukraine, a shot of history for its creation. This particular news is again important for general studies paper too. Effect of policies and politics for developed and developing countries. So we'll give you a brief idea about how Ukraine has evolved. And this is a point that would be again relevant from your prelims and means examination perspective. So Ukraine, if we talk about its geographical, Ukraine is in the east of Europe and it is bounded by Russia to its north, east and south east. And in the Black Sea, it is south, right? You can check out the map. I've already discussed the map yesterday. I have discussed all the details in Do visit that video, you will get to know. And in the south, west, north, Ukraine shared the border with anti-clockwise direction. That is Moldova, Romania, Hungary, Solaskia, Poland and Belarus, right? So this country would be again important. A map work from this particular region is expected in the upcoming prelims examination. Ukraine ki demographic ki baat kare. This is the largest country in Europe. And after Russia itself is an area of around this much 6 lakh 3550 kilometers and 6% of the total continent of the Europe. And Ukraine plays over almost 5 billion square kilometer and 40% of Europe. So these data, if you're writing in mains, if it's a factual question, you can quote it. Not necessarily have to quote, but if you can remember, it is very good. In July 2021, Ukraine population was estimated around 43.7 million, out of which 77.8 was Ukrainian ethnicity, wahan ke log the, or 17% jo the, wo Russians the. Baat kare wahan ke speaker language, native language ki. So 67.5% jo log hai, wo Ukrainian bolte hain, wo baaki ke 29.6% jo log hai. Russian speaker. So this is how uh, the ethnicity and demography of Ukraine has evolved. A Ukraine economy, ke baat kare, Ukraine is the poorest country in Europe, right? In terms of their GDP or the gross national income per capita, hai, uske hisab se bhi kafi kam. Per capita ke hisab se bhi kafi kam hai compared to the other European countries. Now it has deposited iron and iron ore coal export corn, sunflower oil, iron, iron products and wheat, right? So these are some of the things uh, in terms of the economy of the Ukraine that has how the country is moving ahead. Now, India's Ukraine, ke agar baat kare, uh, India's Ukraine largest export destination in Asia Pacific. The country has a major export of India in sunflower oil followed by inorganic chemicals, iron, steel, plastic or chemicals. Or Ukraine ki jo major import hai India se, that is the pharmaceutical product, right? 
ना यूक्रेन एज अ पार्ट ऑफ यू जब यू के साथ थी यूक्रेन तब क्या हुआ था उस टाइम पे सो द वार हैज लेट बोथ द स्टारसिड एंड ऑटोमन एम्प्राइजेस जो कि एक कम्युनिस्ट यूक्रेन नेशनल मूवमेंट थी जो स्टार्ट हुई है उस टाइम में वे बैक इन 1970 एक अक्टूबर रेवोल्यूशन हुई थी जहाँ पे इंडिपेंडेंट यूक्रेन ऑफ रिपब्लिक वॉज प्रोक्लेम बट सिविल वॉर कंटिन्यूड फॉर द वेरियस पावर इंक्लूडिंग द यूक्रेन सेपरेसिस्ट पोलैंड ट्रासिस्ट और एक्नासिस्ट के जो वहाँ पे लोग थे उन लोगों के बीच में डिविजन देखी गई एंड इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी यूक्रेन केम टू बी द पार्ट ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशन सोवियन सोशलिस्ट मैं बाद में यहाँ से भी डिसइंटीग्रेशन हुई विल सी दैट ऑल्सो वॉट आफ्टर द सोवियत यूनियन कोलेप्स तो 1991 में यू एस आर डिजॉल्व हुई और डिमांड की गई दैट यूक्रेन शुड बी गिवन इट्स ओन ऑटोनमी राइट सो इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी ओवर थ्री लैक यूक्रेन हैज क्रिएटेड अ ह्यूमन चेन ऑफ फ्रीडम सपोर्ट वेर दे कॉल फॉर अ ग्रेनाइट रिवोल्यूशन ऑफ स्टूडेंट टू प्रिवेंट द साइनिंग ऑफ न्यू एग्रीमेंट ऑफ यू एस एस आर सो इन ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन नाइनटी वन द पार्लियामेंट ऑफ यूक्रेन हैज एडॉप्टेड the country's act of independence and from this point of time ukraine is considered to be an independent nation because of the reason which us allege kar raha hai ki russia chahta hai wapas se isko ukraine ko russia mein mix kar dijiye map to basically the part of the us are that actually existed before now moving ahead with the in today's uh, editorial that is world must do more to put pressure on russia this particular editorial is important for general studies paper too effect of policies and politics for developed and developing countries so under this editorial there is three important sub topics that i'll be discussing with you russia's uh, you know impact of the russia's action on ukraine pressurizing russia and conclusion and the entire editorial focuses upon russia action call for the global action jo russia ne recent action li hai wo ek global concern hui hai we although are discussing all this news in a regular basis to so kuch important points jo editorial ke honge wahi main aapke sath yahan pe discuss karunga so russia's invasion of ukraine poses unprecedented risk at the global system definitely at this point of time at this juncture after a promise which was made by russia that they are not going to invade ukraine but baad mein cheeze kuch aur hui russia ne apne baaton ko basically they have not keep their promises france ko bhi promise kiya gaya tha ki ye russia jo hai wo invade nahi karegi ukraine ko but this is not uh, this was not true but something which was not expected from russia has already been taken place right so ye call karti hai for uncertainty in the great power politics even every country in the world will now starting realizing the gain and risk of the economic interdependence kya interdependence ke प्रोज है कौन से उस एंगल से सारे कंट्रीज भी अब देखने लग जाएंगे बट इफ द क्राइसिस कंटिन्यूज एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम एनर्जी टू फर्टिलाइजर माइट बी पोटेंशियली इफेक्टेड एंड द कंट्री लाइक इंडिया वुड ऑल्सो हैव टू बी अर द पेन ऑफ इट स्पेशली इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्रूड ऑयल इन्फ्लेशन एंड अदर स्टफ वुड बी हायर ऑन इंडिया इम्पैक्ट ऑफ करंट सिचुएशन हाउ थिंग्स आर मूविंग एंड वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द नेक्स्ट कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन so no one know what is going to happen and how the situation is going to unfold because russia has not categorically informed any country any uh, basically multilateral forum about it action to kitni der ke baad ye jo war start hui hai almost wo kab khatam hogi iski uncertainty abhi tak bani hui hai and one should be cautious about the psychological that is taking place in terms of influencing the ukraine and russia is definitely using their evident power the ukraine is already playing a heavy prices but the chances of russia leaving quickly is unlikely because they have already deployed a lot more forces over there 5 lakh ke aas pass jo forces hain bbc aur al jazeera ne report kiya hai that this much forces is there right so once the war is started the dynamics and not necessarily under the russia president control ek baar jab war start ho gayi hai to bahut had tak jo ek administrator hoti jo leadership hoti hai wo apne hisab se sare cheezon ko fold nahi kar pati hai it is something which again has to take all the necessary actions and it call for a lot more coordinations to wahan pe ek leadership failure bhi dekhi ja sakti hai in future now pressurizing russia is something very important at this instances jahan pe west ne ek misstep liya nato ke significance explanatory power ko dekhte hue ye cheeze escalate tab hui jab ukraine वॉज लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू ज्वाइन द नाटो फोर्सेज और रशिया का कहना था कि आप नाटो को ज्वाइन ना करें दिस इज वॉट रशिया वॉज लुकिंग बट अगेन दिस इज अपन सिचुएशन अ हॉट बर्क दैट टेक प्लेस एंड दैट हैज लेट रशिया 
to give a reason that we are we are forcing people not to join nato but kuch iske alag hi repercussions hongi and even the intentions of russia is not well known but definitely jo russia separatist ukraine mein rehte hain wo chahte the ki jo ukraine ke eastern wale part hain wo russia mein wapas aa jaye so the brutal truth is that despite outrage in west the appetite for doing what it takes to the russia is not yet evident right and even exempting russia from energy food sanctions and seems to be designated a minimal pressure on russia jo bhi action abhi tak li gayi hai that is not impacting russia russia ko abhi bhi regret nahi hai apne decision ki so a heavy sanctions on economy is essentially required to ensure that whatever decision that russia is taking is something not you no know, uh, equally on terms of the humanitarian ground or a humanitarian crisis refugee crisis bhi aa sakti hai ukraine mein now looking into the comparison of russia and ukraine military strength aap dekh sakte ho side by side this is for the russia and this is for the ukraine total number of forces yahan pe reserve forces itni hai uski half se bhi kam no, even to a pretty less side of the, for the ukraine you can see in storage tanks itni hai yahan pe itni kam hai even air combat 1571 yahan pe sirf 231 helicopters 392 plus yahan 139 combat vessel they have 180 82 for russia and 10 for ukraine and again the artillery storage is pretty higher from russia compared to the ukraine so kahin bhi ukraine stand nahi kar sakti hai russia ke samne so a country which has all its established military forces should not do this way because ek country jo already uske hard lose ho jayegi har jayegi us pe is tarah se repercussions karne ki zarurat nahi hoti because the reason being they were looking forward to join the nato forces to get support from the nato alliances to so, conclusion ki agar baat kare china ne reiterate kiya hai principle of respecting the sovereignty and china is supporting russia on their part right so even the spin is that india ne jo real politic hai usko secure karte hue interest mein bhi accurate bataya hai because see russia aur india ki ek bahut achhi hai the relationship hai aur india kahin na kahin dependent hai russia pe military powers ko lekar ke nuclear mein jo kandakulam projects chal rahe hain karnataka mein basically kerala mein tamil nadu mein wahan pe bhi ye sare cheeze hain jo india consideration kar raha hai because india don't want to have a bad relationship with russia in a longer run russia is going to be an important player right but it also reflects the india's weakness and dependence on russia so that is the reason that india has not categorically made its intention clear and even they are not supporting ukraine on that part russia ki kisi bhi tarah se criticism nahi ki gayi india ne officially prime minister has said that the dialogue should always take place to ensure ye jo deescalation ka process hai wo complete ho sake so this is how the conclusion goes now moving ahead with the mcq questions of the day before i proceed just to tell you the answers of yesterday questions for first question the correct option is c for second question also the correct option is c today's mcq sandus the recently seen in news is related to gi enabled tracking system of sand dunes socially social security scheme for differently abled instant messaging platform for government of india a news of fertilizer developed by icr new delhi so what is the correct answer i think most of you must be aware of this if not check out which among the following is the correct answer moving to the second question of the day that is security appellate tribunal consider the following statement sat is a statutory body established under the provision of sebi act or the presiding officers hote hain sat ke that has to be appointed by the president again a important office there might be a chances that upsc would ask you a question from this as well so do check it out which among the following is a correct option so this was all about for the day daily news and editorial followed by the mcq questions if you have any other concern you can let me know i'll be more than happy to assist you for time being i'm signing off thank you so much for watching this video